problem for uh, our local economies. It strives to build lo the local economies. I'm talking about Payland. And uh, we have the CEO with us uh, from Payland Africa. Uh, please introduce yourself. So um, my name is Elitheus Juma, the mm. CEO and co-founder for Payland Africa. And uh, personally, I have a background in software development, which uh -huh. I've done for six years before founding Payland with uh -huh. my co-founder. Bendon Murgur. Okay, uh, so now, you know, most innovations, before we get to what Palin, Palin does, most innovations seek to, uh, you know, s uh, br um, give a solution to a problem that is there in the world or people are experiencing. So tell us what problem that you, that you saw or what gap you saw that you decided to come up with Palin. Okay, so... Um, to put the problem into perspective, I'll just give you a story of me growing up. Mm -hmm. And the neighborhood that I grew up, we had this neighborhood shop that served most of the families mm -hmm. in the community. And what used to happen is my mom would send me to this shop. Mm -hmm. And at the time, she'd not give me money. She'd just tell me, Juma, go get bread, milk, butter. And I'd go to the shop, get the goods, go back home. And all along, um, John who was the shopkeeper at the moment, at the time, mm -hmm. used to write this on a piece of paper that he called a black book. Mm -hmm. Then um, probably a week or a month later, my mom would always pay back the money. And this culture cuts across Africa. Now, the problem is that every time I go back to my neighborhood, John's shop is still the same. Mm -hmm. Now, the only difference is that his son is the one now running the shop because mm -hmm. John has grown old and... Yeah, it's, it has been passed down. To exactly, the next exactly. And the ah. problem is that the inventory, the state of the shop, it's still the same. Mm -hmm. Now, um, me and my co-founder realized that this is a problem that cuts across almost all communities in Africa. And um, we decided to come up with a solution. Mm -hmm. And um, now, um, looking at where the problem stems from, which is basically data. So okay. John lacks a way to see how he transacts on a daily basis. He lacks a, 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 a modern way of recording the transactions that he does on a daily basis. Mm. And what this does is that it locks him out of the financial sector. So um, even if John wanted to probably increase his inventory by getting credit from a financial institution, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be possible because he has no proof to validate that actually the value of my shop is say 100,000. So would you lend me 10,000? So okay. what Palin has done is we have digitized this process, the transactions that John does on a daily basis. Okay, so you have digitized the digi uh, the black book, so exactly. it's now the digital black book. Exactly. All right, so that's a problem you've solved. So is this the only thing that you're doing? Uh, is this the main service that you're offering rather, or are there others before we get into them in, in, in detail? So um, the beauty about our flagship product is that it has helped us leverage on data. Now, you see, um, by us, uh, by Palin understanding how John transacts on a daily basis, both credit and cash transactions, we are able now to build uh, tools that will be able to deliver financial services to John, helping him, pro propelling him into um, profitability and being sustainable over the long run. Mm -hmm. So ideally, we've built a number of tools, among them um, Okoa services, which basically helps John's customers, that's like now my mom, buy mm -hmm. goods from John, on credit, and this what this does is that it helps John manage his credit with much ease. Mm -hmm. Then we also have um, other products, uh, including Changisha, which is a crowdfunding platform, mm -hmm. Pata Voucher, which instills financial discipline. Mm -hmm. And the beauty about our entire ecosystem, now that I've mentioned Pata Voucher, is that our services, or rather um, money that is within our ecosystem, is tied to a specific utility. Right. Say, Stephanie, if we were to give you credit, mm -hmm. we wouldn't just give you credit like any other lender. What we'd do is we'd be specific in terms of what we are lending you for. If you say, um, I need money for education, we won't give you the money in cash. We'll pay the, 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 the fee. Exactly. Directly. If you're buying bread from John, mm -hmm. we'll pay for the bread. Okay. You just pick the bread. <laughs> Okay, so before we get into the details of this, I want uh, us to play a video that uh, has been, uh, you know, our, our comedian, Kenna, Crazy Kenna, has dramatized what basically students go through and that, that is the solution that you're bringing. I saw it, or you also uploaded it on your social media handle. So we want exactly. to play it so that we can relate to this more. So let's have it. 
Well, now you know uh, how Paylet works. You have seen, uh, you know, an example of how it can play out for you as a student or you as a parent. Yeah. So instead of sending money directly, you know, through the mobile cash transfers, you just do the payment to, you know, whatever they're buying. Come on, your duka if they're exactly. shopping. Exactly. Ah, okay. I've, I've been a student once and I know what happens. So ideally, <laughs> uh, you'll be sent money. Uh, let's say, for instance, you've been sent 5K for upkeep. Mm -hmm. And probably um, you're supposed to set aside 3,000 for, for food, 2,000 for, for, for shopping, maybe, mm -hmm. 1,000 for transport. You find that um, being a student, a lot comes up. <laughs> and you might find yourself spending money that was meant for food on other on other things. Exactly. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you'll end up calling your parent again. Hey, mom, send me more money. Uh -huh. You know. So what Pelen does is, um, you don't have to, you don't have to send your your your, your kid cash mm -hmm. while he's in school. You can you you can distribute the money across the different um, the different areas that this student spends money on. So, for instance, if it's food, he spends 2000 he or she spends 2000 on food a month, mm -hmm. you can easily send them a voucher worth 2000 uh -huh. Yeah, and the beauty, you can even lock this 2000 to that specific shop that you know is mm -hmm. within the school. Okay, so they're locked to using that to th until it's over and exactly. then now they renew the voucher again. Exactly. Okay, so tell us, take us through the process now for someone who's totally new at this. How do you, uh, how, how is the relation between the customer and the shopkeeper? How do they get on board to the app? Uh, how do they use the app? How is it beneficial? So take us through that process. So um, the customer journey is pretty simple. We have built, uh, we've built an app and um, mm -hmm. it's available on Play Store. So what the customer and the shopkeeper would do, they'd go to Play Store, download the app, mm -hmm. and if someone does not have a, a, a smartphone, if they have a feature phone, mm -hmm. they basically dial star 483 star 800 hash, mm -hmm. and they are able to access our services via USSD. Mm -hmm. So ideally the first step would be to sign up on the platform. If you are a shop, you'll have to be verified by one of our agents. So once you sign up, we send an agent on ground, they come and verify your shop. If you are a customer, you just provide your KYC information, mm -hmm. you sign up on the platform. Tell us about KYC, I need to know your customer. Yes. So, so what, are, what um, that information do you give? Ideally, you give us uh, your basic information, your name, um, mm -hmm. uh, your, your, your date of birth, your, your gender, and then also you give us um, your legal information, you need to know which, what's your nationality? Mm -hmm. uh, do you have an ID number? Do you have a passport number? A picture of your ID? And also, um, you also give us uh, fi your financial your financial status. Mm -hmm. So ideally, um, what's your occupation? How much do you make in a month? So ideally, this helps us score you as a user. Mm -hmm. Because on day one, we need to give you that limit that you can spend at your neighborhood shop. Okay. So ideally, once you give us your KYC, we've scored you, we've given you a limit, you can visit your local shop mm -hmm. and transact with them. So now, uh, I, you, you have registered me, I've done the registration, everything, I've been approved. So now I go to my local shop, but they're not registered under Payland. What happens? So what happens then is, um, mm -hmm. now you become now our advocate because you want so the now service. now selling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're selling Payland to exactly. the shopkeeper. Exactly, and it's, 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 it's a five minute process. Uh -huh. So uh, once you tell them about uh, Payland and mm -hmm. they see the value, of which now you see now the value is that you won't take the bread and milk, then you pay them at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. So what value are they getting? You see, um, once you go there and mm -hmm. you transact with them, mm -hmm. what Payland does is we give them the money up front. So what this makes, what this does is it makes them, it it, it increases their liquidity. Mm -hmm. So ideally they get money for operations, they get money to increase their stock, their mm -hmm. inventory, and ideally, this would not be the this would not be the case if ideally you had gone to the shop and just taken bread and milk, then yeah. you pay at the end of the month. Oh yeah, exactly. A, you've you know lifted the burden of them following up exactly. on the debts. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And you see, again, we introduce yeah. all our customers to him. Okay. So um, for him, he'd only give debt to the loyal customers that he knows. But Palin now, we have built a relationship with these customers from all over. Mm -hmm. So if I am just visiting, for instance, Ruiru, and I stay in Kabete, mm -hmm. Payland will, uh, will vouch for me at this shop and tell them, you know what, 
this guy can take goods on credit. They don't even they don't even need to know that I'm taking goods on credit. Mm -hmm. But now Payland brings new customers to them. Okay, so let me understand this. When I go to the shop, I want tea and bread mm -hmm. uh, on credit. So now the shopkeeper won't, uh, the, I'm taking the credit from Payland. Exactly. I'm borrowing from Payland basically because the shop, you're paying. Once I, you know, go to my application and then I say, I say I want to buy this and that. And then now you give, you pay the shopkeeper for me. Exactly. All right. So they are good. <laughs> so they are good. They get the money. They mm -hmm. can increase the stock if they want to. Mm -hmm. They can pay workers if they want to, if they have uh, a casual laborer in the shop. Mm -hmm. So ideally, we make them more liquid. Okay. Yeah. And then what happens to me now after I've taken the credit from you? You, after you've taken the credit now, um, you're going to pick a repayment plan based on, uh, on your capabilities and how you... S and how you see fit. Mm. So you can pick either seven days, um, 14 days, one month, or 60 days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how are the interest rates for your app compared to other, you know, mobile money applications? So um, we believe um, we, are, we are among the lowest mm -hmm. in terms of the, of the rates that we give our customers. And given that it's, 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 it's unsecured loan, mm -hmm. and um, for seven days, for instance, we do 2.5, um mm -hmm. for 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 14 days we do five for 30 days 7.5 and then for um 60 days we do 10 percent okay yeah so now uh once i getting onto the system mm -hmm. and registering do i have to pay for anything are there monthly subscriptions to it so um the services are purely free mm -hmm. the services are purely free so uh for the shopkeeper they don't get to pay anything for the customers, well, they don't get to pay anything. Mm -hmm. So there's no fee because I saw somewhere uh, where there's some monthly, uh, you know, subscription. Subscription. So um, where does that come in? So ideally, if 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 you are a if you are a customer who um, scores high, mm -hmm. you don't need to to you don't need to subscribe, and um, that bit for subscription was some time back when we were doing um, customers who are loyal to a specific shop. We were asking them to subscribe to this shop, then they can take goods on credit for the entire month. Mm -hmm. But so um, but ideally, we scrapped off that model. Oh, okay. Where so customers now were subscribing to the shop. So now the services are free. Yes, now the services are completely free. Okay, and now once I have your debt now, uh -huh. and uh, if I'm not able to pay, how do you handle this? Because we have had, you know, <laughs> some in, in recent times, you know, people following up on your entire clan. Okay. We are delivering. We are delivering. So how do you do it differently? Yeah. So I know. So uh, for us, we are trying to find a balance between um, find a balance between making profits and also being humane in terms of how we mm -hmm. do our collections, because uh, there has there have been cases where people they even come to your doorstep or where you work, yes, talking to your bosses. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. So for us, we'll just give you a call, mm -hmm. and 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 what. What we've invested a lot in is in the AI engine that we use to score our users because we believe once we leverage on data, we cannot give Stephanie a credit, a credit, a credit limit that she cannot pay back. Mm -hmm. So we take time to understand, we invest more in understanding who Stephanie is mm -hmm. and how much she can, uh, uh, how much is, uh, how much, how much, how much limit she'll be able to pay probably within 60 days or 30 days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, that's quite interesting. And now, from the shop, uh, what other services? Because you have said I can also, someone can also pay fees. Is this part of the Okoa? This is the Okoa service. Yes, product. Okoa services. So Okoa yeah. services. Okay, just to bring you back a little bit, Payland. We are not only uh, profit driven. Mm -hmm. We focus also on driving impact in the community. Okay. And how we've designed our product is that they are more of community products. Mm -hmm. It's not a product that you can use it in silo, as in you, Stephanie, alone using mm -hmm. Payland. So it's, it's, it's more of a, a community product. And Okoa Services, what we've done is we've segmented these products in terms of the credit that we're giving. So we have, an, for instance, we have Okoa School Fees, as you've mentioned. Mm -hmm. What Okoa School Fees does is um, if um, the schools are opening and I'm taking my kid to school and I do not have the, the school fees at the moment, mm -hmm. ideally the school and the parent Mm. must be registered on Payland first. Okay. And what happens is that um, I can transact via Payland mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. where I tell the school, okay, I'm transacting 10,000 through Payland. Then now, because the school understands me as a parent, because the school understands me as a parent, they, ca they are able either to edit the 10,000 or accept the 10,000. Mm -hmm. This is because the school will also take part in reminding the parents that they need to pay the money back. Oh, okay. Yes. So, okay. Yeah, uh, the, sc <laughs> the school takes part in this, so they cannot just give parents uh, huge amounts and amounts that the parents can't pay back. Can't pay. Yes. So there's also a limit. Yes, exactly. With that. Exactly. And now, for you know, back to the shop, uh, to the shopping bit, Okwa shopping. Mm -hmm. So can you do it? Uh, does it work for supermarkets? Because maybe I want to buy bulk shopping. Uh -huh. Does it work in supermarkets or is it just yeah, local so shops? For su supermarket, we are rolling out for customers. We've, we've segmented our customers, by the way. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are rolling out for customers who, who we pay, who, who we prepay for them 100%. Mm -hmm. As I said, it's, com it's, it's, it's more of community-focused product. Mm -hmm. So ideally, uh, there are customers who we pay for them. We prepay for them 100%. Mm -hmm. There are customers who we prepay for them 50%. All so right. ideally, uh, if you're starting off and, and, and we've not scored you as a 100% mm -hmm. customer, you'll need to transact with a shop that knows you. Okay. So you'll go to your local shop where you usually transact, mm -hmm. but, you do not, but you do not pay a dime on day one, mm -hmm. and Payland will pay 50%. All right. Yeah, so for supermarkets, we are rolling out for customers who we prepay for them 100%. Mm -hmm. Yes. Any other services under Okoa? You know, Okoa, Okoa, services. Okoa services. Yeah, yes. we have um, Okoa Afia, mm -hmm. where again uh, we are going into the communities, mm -hmm. these hospitals that serve people within communities. And uh, what we do is we prepay the hospital bills for them. We okay. prepay the hospital bills for them, mm -hmm. then they are going to pay us back later. Again, this is based on our understanding of these customers. Mm -hmm. So, um, going back to the point that I said earlier, we leverage on data. now. You see, if you've used Okoa shopping, you've used Okoa school fees, and we understand your behavioral kind of um, your behavior on the app, mm -hmm. we are able even to extend Okoa Afia to you mm -hmm. where we can pay the bills. So if your credit score is good, if you... Exactly. Uh, yeah, okay, exactly. all right. And uh, any other... I know there's also Okoa Kilimo for agriculture. Exactly. So for Okoa Kilimo, how it works is, um, you see, like right now, um, fertilizer has prices have been skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. So ideally what we do is we have um, agrovets on our platform and these agrovets are the ones that we have registered ourselves and we have verified ourselves and um, what we do is if a farmer for instance they want fertilizer and they do not have the money at the moment we can prepay for them. Mm -hmm. We can prepay for them, they go pick the fertilizer at the retail stores that we have registered on our platform and then they are going to pay us back. They spread out the payment. So if they are taking, for instance, two bags, two bags right now go for about um, about roughly 10,000, mm -hmm. 10,000 to 12,000. So they can spread this payment probably f six, three months. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you, are those the only services that uh, you're offering now that you're, you know, aligned to now or you know, other multiple services, maybe like transport in the transport system, uh -huh. in the maybe hairdressing, you know, different areas that where we need services. Yeah, for the Okoa services, has, it has been mm -hmm. broken down. We, we've mentioned Okoa Shopping, Okoa Kilimo, Okoa Afia. We have Okoa Logistics, mm -hmm. and we have Okoa Bills as well. All right. So ideally, ideally, what, for instance, Okoa Logistics does is um, we prepay, we, we buy fuel for taxi drivers, for Boda Boda riders, mm -hmm. and then they spread out the payment. How so they it's going to work in any it. service? Not any service, mm -hmm. just the services that we've listed that on our oh. platform. Ah, all yeah. right, all right. So any other products apart from Okwa services? I know that there are around four. Yes. Please mention them and then now tell us. So um, apart from Okwa services, we also have uh, Pata Voucher. Mm -hmm. The and video that you've just played was that's demonstrating Pata Voucher. Pata Voucher, yeah. Yes, where you, uh, where you, you know, fill up the voucher, you pay for the voucher in advance. Yeah, where the parent buys the voucher for their kids in, in, in campus, uh -huh. then the kids can He's redeem. able to spend. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. And, and it, just, it does not just work for campus uh, uh, students, also for guys who are working. Uh -huh. you, can, you can distribute your, 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 your expenditure, your monthly expense, based mm -hmm. on what you spend, what and how much you spend 
the money on. So for instance, if I do uh, 5,000 shopping and I use, uh, let's say, 2,000 on transport, I can easily buy three th the worth uh, for shopping and the worth for transport mm -hmm. at the end of the month. All right. Exactly. So that's uh, Okoa services, part, part of voucher. voucher then we also have Changisha. Changisha. Yes, mm -hmm. Changisha is a crowdfunding tool mm -hmm. where <coughs> individuals and organizations can create initiatives on the platform mm -hmm. and then raise money for courses that they hold dear. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if I have an event, a social event, mm -hmm. let's say I have, um, I'm arranging my wedding. Mm -hmm. So ideally I can create an initiative on Payland and share the initiative number with friends and family who can contribute mm -hmm. the, 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 the money based on the target that I have put in place. Also, if um, an organization is trying to raise funds, mm -hmm. maybe to feed uh, a specific community in marginalized areas, mm -hmm. they can easily use Changisha by creating an initiative on our platform, mm -hmm. then sharing this initiative. The beauty is that also you can either make it public or private. Mm -hmm. So if you make it public, <coughs> then it will be available on Payland social media pages and also on our page where we display the initiatives mm -hmm. so anyone anywhere can channel funds to that specific initiative how di how different is it from other crowdsourcing you know platforms so uh, how different it is is that we <coughs> we foster trans transparency and accountability okay so ideally <coughs> you find that at times um, you might be raising funds and maybe you're raising these funds for a specific group of people who are your beneficiaries. Let's say you're raising funds to, 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 to feed or to take four kids to school. So ideally, how, how it would happen traditionally is you'd raise the funds, withdraw these funds from the system, then go pay school fees. Mm -hmm. With Payland, you'll raise these funds within the same ecosystem, disburse these funds either to the school or to the parents of these kids and mm -hmm. tie the funds to school fees. Mm -hmm. So ideally, Again, coming back to what I said earlier, we, within our ecosystem, you can be able to tie funds to that specific utility. So you hold people responsible. All right. Exactly. And what technology is behind this innovation? So um, for us, um, our fuel is data, mm -hmm. and AI is our engine. So AI and data. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> OK, OK. So now, uh, Following our borrowing patterns as Kenyans, uh -huh. you know, sometimes people borrow loans to pay for loans. Uh -huh. So like you have a loan in this, uh, in one loan lending up and you want to borrow from another so to pay this one. So do you allow for that, s that kind of transaction to happen? So um, unfortunately, um, unfortunately or fortunately, mm -hmm. people can do this. Because you see, these are, are, are independent companies. Uh -huh. So if we have credit lender A, we have digital lender B, and we have another one C, mm -hmm. they, 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 are, they are independent companies. So if A gives me um, mm -hmm. a loan mm -hmm. or a credit and I go to B, mm -hmm. you see now this, these guys manage their own data independently. Mm -hmm. and we manage our data independently. But you, one, one has to be enrolled into your system for you to pay them. So now do enroll the you know, digital lending apps to your platform for, for you to pay them for someone? Uh, no. So it's not really possible? For us to onboard uh -huh. other digital lenders on our platform? Yes. Um, no. So if I want to, borrow, to, to pay for a loan that I have in you know, one of the uh, loan platforms, I want, I want you to pay for it and then I will repay you back? No. So you don't we, do that? We've not done such. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So how, how would you say that you're building the local economy from all that you have said? So um, if you look at, at, at what we are doing, we are helping at the core, at the core of, our, of our ecosystem is mm -hmm. data. And, and, and once these neighborhood shops are able to leverage on the data that they, that they generate within the, uh, the, their daily operations, mm -hmm. Then now they are able to leverage on this also to get credit from probably Payland and other financial institutions. What we do is we help them understand the actual, the actual value, mm -hmm. the actual value of their uh, of their uh, of their businesses, and this helps. This bring this brings them into um it it it, it brings them into financial inclusion, where now they are able to get money either to drive their operations or to 
increase their inventory and looking at all the products they are all geared towards building the local economy mm -hmm. so ideally if you look at uh, for instance a product like um, Changisha and Pata Voucher so um, how they tie together is um, look at an organization raising funds to probably feed a community in area A in Kenya so um, what traditionally they do that if they are uh, if they headquartered in Nairobi they raise the money buy the food stuff in Nairobi then transport them to area A but with Payland what they do is they raise the money raise the money then mm -hmm. um, disburse it to beneficiaries in area A mm -hmm. people in area A would buy these goods within shops that are within the uh, area driving demand and with this now the shops in that area will need to buy more from suppliers mm -hmm. and you find that the local economy is growing it's growing exactly oh, okay so we'll we'll have a video running as we continue with the discussion to just to show how one can get on board with your app uh, with the application but now how is the reception from when uh, you came up with it when did you come up with it and how is the reception so far so um started off in 2019 we were incorporated in december 2019 mm -hmm. and um the better part of 2020 we were building 2021 doing tests mm -hmm. and um ideally we've been churning out products since um august to the first quarter of this year and currently we have 10,000 users mm -hmm. and uh we've onboarded 3,000 plus shops mm -hmm. predominantly in kenya okay yes and since you're continental do you have customers from outside the borders uh, we just got incorporated in Zambia, mm -hmm. where we'll be starting operations probably by the end of this second quarter of 2022. Wow, amazing. Take us to the world. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Represent Kenya. Exactly. Uh, so now, uh, what's your vision and what's your goal as an organization as we come to a close? You know? So um, our vision as a company is to see that the 100 million plus micro, small and medium enterprises mm -hmm. in Africa are able to we are able to deliver uh, digital tools to them so that we can bring them into profitability and sustainability the one the 100 million plus jones by the way in africa mm -hmm. so our goal is to see how do we drive profitability if 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 i walk out of my neighborhood 10 years down the line once i come back i find that john has expanded his shop mm -hmm. he even has um three three different shops within the same neighborhood. Yeah, and branches in other exactly, areas. Exactly, exactly, uh -huh. exactly. Okay. And um, our goal is to become, um, our goal is to serve um, at least half a billion of the population in Africa. Currently, we are at 1.2, 1.3 billion. Wow. So ideally, um, that's our goal, to deliver financial services. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, but before you leave, you know, we'd want you to say something to the innovators because what inspired you? Because people have innovations and have ideas out there, but they're afraid to take the step. So you started as an idea, I believe. So just give an encouragement. That is your camera to an innovator out there. So ideally what I'd say is that, um, first of all, if you don't believe in yourself, then no one will because it has to be intrinsic it has to come from within so if you have an idea just run with it and um, the fact that um, right now uh, Africa is gaining traction in terms of uh, people coming up with ideas and also investors coming into Africa this is the right time for Africa to to export the ideas to export the innovations to export the tech so that the world can see also that Africa we have innovators who can build world-class products that can serve people glo globally and drive impact as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, uh, Juma. Your first name is quite hard. <laughs> but thank Eletherius. you for <laughs> Eletherius. Thank you very much for coming on board. Uh, Thank you. So that has been uh, Sport on Tech, where we see how fintech is helping build local economies. And this is through an innovation by Payland Africa. That is the company behind Payland Platform, which is a, a, you know, an application where you can get your credit from and not use cash because they pay for you directly. Well, talk to us. Uh, we are still continuing right after the break, but we're coming back with some music and lifestyle. The hashtag to use is That's the Vibes. See you on the other side of the break.